Welcome, friends, to the Beaver Dam. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. This guy has an interesting uh, roster, to say the least. Um, I, I'm surprised by his GAC history. So, he has... <laughs> he has the triple PP placement. Um, he has a big PP, let's just say that. We got Leviathan, Executor, Profundity. So, his history, though, just shows that he uses Executor on defense. The other two aren't on defense. So, we'll see what we have to deal with. Uh, we might get to the back end, get screwed, but hey, we'll... I mean, we'll, t we'll, we'll see what we can deal with, and we, we'll see what we see. Um, but yeah, it'll be, it'll be a good time, to say the least. Uh, happy Easter to all of you. Uh, thank you for joining me on this wonderful Easter. I don't have family in town, and so I was like, eh, I'm going to do some things with some friends later, but might as well spend some time with your beautiful faces. So happy Easter to those who celebrate Easter, to those who don't. Happy random Sunday. <clears throat> Two for two with AFK players. Ugh, nice. Okay, uh, we are actually... Uh, little fun news. We are actually taking away Sidious from our defense here uh, on this next week. Uh, we did pull a Sidious Cron today. So, um, I just re-rolled one of my Crons because I got another Bane Cron. And I re-rolled it and it turned into a Sidious Cron. So, Territory Wars rewards coming in clutch. So... <clears throat> Oh, Lord Vader. Okay, so we have a Lord Vader, we have a Maul team, we have a Malgus team, we have a Qui-Gon team. This seems like a interestingly, like, kind of garbage, like, overall Grand Arena defense. Uh, for a second I thought that was going to be the Sagara or Kron, or not the Sagara, but uh, the Wedge Kron, but it's not, so, yeah. Can't you put Sidious in defense? Uh, no, because the Sidious Cron specifically says solo. It's the same reason that we can't put Bane on defense and get a good result, and we can't put Wampa on defense without getting a good result. Um, because all of them have to be solo, and you have to set a full team. And so the only way to reliably get that to happen would be to... Uh, and that's this is reliably. Would be to put Sidious on defense with two level 1 characters and then hope they throw in something random that's absolute trash and they kill off the two single people and then they just leave Sidious for the second battle and then they come in against Sidious. Then it would actually turn on. Uh, so like, yeah. Like, you are desperately hoping that they'll fail and leave just Sidious left. So, I've seen people do it with Wampa. It doesn't work. Okay, so... This is something I don't know what we're going to do about it. Like, honestly. Um, like, this could just be very bad for us. Hmm. <sighs> So we're going to have to do some research on this one. We might have to waste our gas here. Uh, what we might have to do is we might have to Sith Eternal here, gas here, uh, Bane here, and then we'll save SLKR for the back wall. And this doesn't have our, uh, our unfortunate person in here. Uh, which Kron is this? Hey, Madness. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> hey, Darth Zephyr. Welcome. Uh, 50% health, 10% turn meter. Okay, 10% turn meter shouldn't be bad, I hope. So. You couldn't put level 1... Uh, yes, exactly. And so, uh, it's the same idea as everything else. So, you'd basically have to put them with relic characters that are the lowest relic you can find, which I think would have to be relic 3. And then you'd have to hope they die off. So, sa same kind of idea as Ziggy, where you're trying to... Um, it, it would work for uh, Wampa and Bane, yes. But if you do it with, with uh, Sidious, you are right. You do have to use a... Uh, relic characters. I'm alive, Jay. Um, I'm a little tired today. I I slept last night like a rock because of the Grand Inquisitor event, and then I woke up today, worked on some stuff for the channel, and then I went and took a nap right before this. So, I'm alive. Um, does SLKR counter Jabba? Yes, Anakin, it does. Um, 
the so the one that I typically use with Java is going to be this right here um, just because I like to split up my first order teams why am I searching first order uh, I like to split up my first order teams in 3v3, so this is typically what I throw in against Jabba, and I really haven't had any problems. Uh, but I think that this is technically the best result, uh, especially if you have your speeds dialed in so that first order officer is slightly faster than Hux. Uh, this is the comp that you used for the uh, Leia Kron, the Bosch Kron as well. So, hey Tara, welcome, welcome. It's been a while. <clears throat> I just saw I just saw a message on my screen, but it didn't show up in chat. It was a long one. I don't know what happened there. Whoever said that, you can say it again. I, I don't know if it just got removed by accident or what. <clears throat> yeah, TSP, it's been a while. Welcome back, dude. It's always great to see your beautiful face, although you've been with us in presence every single time, and I get it. Relic 8 Kersantan and Relic 7 Bosch, I would probably take... Uh, Either crew and uh, Hux or Hux and First Order Officer. Um, if you have them, obviously the best bet you're going to have, I'm pretty sure, is Night Sisters. Um, alternatively, I think that Watt Armor would also work. But. Oh, it had a swear word. What swear word? I mean, people have used swear words in my chat before, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, okay. Ugh, okay, give me just just a hot second, guys. Let's uh throw something on. Uh, I don't. I didn't buy the conquest pass today. For this time. Okay. It, yeah, it has an auto moderator. Ooh, I did add a recent new auto moderation tool. Here, let me turn it off real quick. No swearing on the Lord's Easter Day. Exactly, Omnicortisol. Um, okay, let's see. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that, that, I need to do that. That's right. <laughs> yeah, madness. He just he just used that word, so I don't know if it was. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna throw this on auto for a second and I'll let you guys watch these gungans do something while I go grab a soda so that way I'm not yawning. Uh not uh, there we go. Nice job, Anakin Lava Crawler. Good job. Heck yeah, McAir. That's better than I've got. I actually don't have a gold crate this time because I focused so hard on uh, Datacrons. But, uh, because I focused so much on Datacrons, I'll show you what we got out of it. <laughs> like, this this next four months, I think we're going to fight our way into Kyber 2. I'm hoping by the time that we 
get in and uh, we're in Kyber 2 and like having fun in Kyber 2, I think we'll have zero problems staying in Kyber 2 at that point. Hit that ability. Hit that ability. Hit that ability. Uh, finish off him. <laughs> Thanks, Apple E. It was definitely the most painful and my least favorite event in this entire game. Like, that was insane how much I hated that event. Okay, sweet. And we're at 45 shards for our Gungan Boomadier. Kyber 2 for a bit, now inching my way towards Kyber 1. Uh, we'll see, Tote Man. It's it's rough going from Kyber 2 to Kyber 1. <clears throat> but yeah, so our Datacron sets. We have a Holdo... Oh. Hondo, Holdo, Holdo. Holdo Cron. Uh, we have a Holdo Cron, we have a Bane Cron, we have a Cities Cron, we have a Keller and Beck Cron. So we focused hard on our uh, on our datacrons, and we were rewarded for it. So <laughs> uh, yeah, that uh, that that fulcrum was insane. Okay, okay, let's see. Um, Grand Arena. No, it, it wasn't fun at all, Apple E. It was like an hour and 30 minutes of the Ahsoka tier, and then 30 minutes of all the other tiers. I think I understand how you're supposed to do it overall, and I think my guide will be fairly good for it when I make it. But... <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I definitely like the idea of just using Bane here and not dealing with this. Uh, we could SLKR here and save Bane. I'm trying to think of what could stop me if I didn't have SLKR. I think the only one that I've not been able to do with the uh, Bane Cron is Jabba. Does he have Jabba? He doesn't have Jabba, so we can throw Bane in any battle and he'll win. Although, if he does put his JMK in the back wall, we will be kind of screwed. Uh, no, we won't. We have Sith Empire Trooper lying around. We can, we can afford to take out... Um, yeah, we'll be fine regardless. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll have zero problems, whoever's in the back. So, um... Yeah, let's use SLKR here and we'll save Bane. Easy 3-0, congratulations, dude. Ivan, you you were in Erodium 3? Oh, you are Erodium 3, you got demoted from Erodium 2. First week in Erodium, just don't <laughs> seem to get... To fish the, yeah, dude, Erodium is rough. It's like the first part where it felt truly competitive in the game where I was like struggling for my life and I stopped seeing as many AFK accounts and like started getting super crazy. Uh, thanks, Dope Man. Can we do when we for when we DK? Oh, wait, disconnect? What is what is DK next? I'm confused. Everyone needs to stop using... Because my brain said Droid Deca, and I'm not using Droid Deca today. So. Hey, Andy Nachos. Welcome, welcome. You are fine. You were up late with me last night, so. Um, so, do who do we want to use? Supreme Leader, Kylo Ren, or Bane? Let's leave it up to you guys. I think you guys can make a, a good decision on this. I think we win either way. And so I'm, I'm not overly worried. It's just kind of, who do you guys think we should save for the back wall? Yeah, Donkey Kong? Or when we DK, what song to do? Uh. Yeah, Chromium was, was a war zone. You're not wrong. But like, as long as you had enough teams, I felt like you could be competitive in Chromium. 
Okay. Uh, Lord Vader, are we using Bane? Or are we using SLKR? Okay, there's your guys' first pull. Let's go. This will be my first 03 in like six months. Dude, if I 03 this one, it'll be my first 03 in probably like two months. I 03 um, when we were in uh, Kyber 2. I can't tell if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Anakin with sleep for me, it's really odd. I either, like, if I sleep more than four hours, I feel like crap. If I sleep more than eight hours, I'm fine. If I sleep more than 10 hours, I feel like crap. If I sleep less than three hours, I feel great. Like that, that is like kind of the, the sleep thing for me is if I'm under four hours, I'm fine. If I'm over four hours, but under eight, I'm screwed. If I'm over eight, but under 10, I'm fine. If I'm over 10, I'm screwed. It's just, you can't win. <laughs> oh, don't know. Okay, don't know. Request for in for when we don't know what song to do, we can do okay. okay yes, I I got you next. Yes, if we don't have a song for a battle, we will definitely throw in farm scrap upgrade. <clears throat> Save Bane. Remember last match? SLKR in case there's a JMK. I mean, I'd rather have a SLKR for um this than a yeah to have Bane for a JMK. <clears throat> We'll create for the first time ever this conquest. I guess Padme gave me the motivation to do it. Heck yeah, Tara. That's what I like to hear. School starts tomorrow again. I've been sleeping at like 4 in the morning. Oof. Okay. Uh, we're going to close down our uh, our poll. Okay. Looking like uh, Bane with a 72%. So it looks like we're going to use Bane here. Uh, we'll give him, um, instead of Darth Vader... Uh, I think Darth Vader's a little bit of a waste because we might have Geos in the back. Uh, we are instead going to give him Sith Marauder because we don't use Marauder in 3v3. Uh, don't put that juju on me, Project Martin. Like, I literally closed and reopened my blue stacks right before we started streaming. Okay, so we have our two Sith. We have Bane in the lead and we have our Bane Kron. Let's, uh... Um. Always do get high. Let's go. <clears throat> Thanks, Andy. To you, too. Happy Easter. From the ashes of destruction. This is so OP. Like, there, I, there is no point to use this in this battle. We'll go welcome welcome thanks for the wishes of good luck <clears throat> let's go zero three in grand arena because i'm going against people four million yeah that happens project martin next week will be better just keep that in mind Yeah, I mean, yeah. Mommy Mandalore uh, is just so overkill right now to Lord Vader. 
<laughs> adding pain crop hurts like it says. Uh, I love this song. Okay. Um. Let's just make sure we don't have a another like really necessary home. But I'm gonna so assume Imperial Troopers are gonna be kind of our best thing. Your opponents are all AFK. I'm so jealous. I'd take some crystals right now. I really need crystals. Seer Junda. I think we used Darth Revan last time. But we're going to use Darth Revan right there. We're going to use right here. Hmm. Hold on. Bounty Hunters, Darth Revan. I think both of these are Bounty Hunters and Darth Revan can take both of them. So we'll, we'll be fine. Oh, do we have a... I just re remembered that we have a Star Killer up there. What do people usually use for Star Killer in 3v3? How's this guy's mods doing? 262? I'm faster than that. It's been a long time since I've been faster than Amara Jade. CLS Han Chewy? I don't have Han Chewy. I've been thinking about breaking up my Keller and Beck and putting Keller and Beck on defense with General Kenobi and another Jedi and then throwing, bringing Qui-Gon on offense with Jedi Anakin. But CLS for Starkiller, I don't have a good CLS team. It's just CLS, um, C-3PO, and uh, 3-Poc. We could maul it. <laughs> nice. Uh, back wall bay or when to go heavy on south or north and front wall. I mean, yeah, I can I can talk about it a bit, Rohit. Bay not a gear twelve Zori. Oof. Okay. So right there is good. Right there is good. So we we've got to make sure we're saving bounty hunters and we're saving Darth Revan. Um, and then right here, we'll figure it out as time goes on. We have Keller and Beck. We have, um, a couple different teams. Even if we just take out, like, one person on the team, we win. So, um, let's check if there's another cheaper counter to... Sorry, give me just one second. Okay, interesting. <clears throat> uh, I was watching your Proving Grounds video with SLK, but I don't have ult yet. Which matches do I have a chance against without? Uh, without ult, I think you can do Scythe, um, let me think, I think you can do Scythe, I think you can do Trench, uh, you might be able to do Razor Crest. Those are the three that I, like, offhand, I could, I think you could do, but I'd give them all a try, I mean, might as well take the time and do it, Project Martin. Um, okay, we, that's right, we were, we were checking this. Sorry, I got distracted. I got a, a pretty important DM. Um, okay, so... Okay, so it means cheese in Spanish. We're looking for GAC counters. Uh, let's go ahead and go GAC Insight, 3v3 squads. And we are looking for... 
The defensive units are uh, lead. It is Chieftain. Uh, and then it's Tuscan Raider. And who's the last one on that team? That's uh, this one. Shaman. Uh, okay, so this is what my plan is. Is there another counter that we can throw against this that's not going to be bad? I wouldn't mind throwing Treya against this. Treya wouldn't be too shabby. Um, like a Treya with no Savage, I think is definitely a good trade-off. Afra, Jedi, Bounty Hunters we need, Birth Revan we need, we don't have Scoundrels, we don't have this team, Do no we don't have this team. Can Baby Kylo solo Akbar Biggs wedge? As long as you have the Zeta, yes. Uh, Maul and Proving Grounds? Go watch my video, Ivan. Uh, my video goes through all of the tiers that you can complete. Let's see, is there any... A 50% win rate with Geos? That's wild. It's third Zeta behind her lead and Whirlwind applied. Um, her lead, Whirlwind... Uh, you're going to want Galactic Legend next, TSP, and then you're going to want Lifeblood. Um, the Galactic Legend helps Ray more than almost any other GL because Lifeblood gives protection based off of her max health, and Galactic Legend increases her max health by 10% for each relic level. So. <clears throat> hey, Jeez Balls, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I think Gas is a solid team I'm fine with getting rid of for this battle. So we'll, I, I think we'll use Gas here. Uh, and then we'll use uh, Sith Eternal here. And I think we'll be fine at that point. <clears throat> uh, not Sith Eternal here. We want Gas here. Ray and Holdo, I got Ray. Is it worth re-rolling? In 3v3, I almost think that Ray is better. Uh, and in 5v5, I think Holdo's better. But honestly, I think both are fantastic. And I don't think if you have one or the other, I don't think you really need to re-roll them. I think both will help with Starkiller. If I'm going to be honest, though, I think the Raycron's going to be better at counters, countering Starkiller. I could be wrong, though. Um, but yeah, no. Like, if you're throwing it on offense... I would 100% go for the Holocron. If you're throwing it at, if you're throwing it on defense, I think either one's going to put a lot of work in for you. The Holocron's just ultimately better. So it's up to you if you want to use the materials. Uh, yes, let's get our mates Windu-Cron going. Uh, so far, cheese balls, we're doing solid work. We've only done one battle, but it was a. Uh, you know, a little thing. We've been uh, we've been kind of bouncing back and forth, just answering some questions because a lot of people have questions today. Yeah, that sounds good, TSP. But yeah, like if especially if you have Ben, like I don't see a point to being like sitting there and being like, ah, yes, I have the Holdo Cron because it's like if you have Ben and Cal or Ben and uh, JTR, I honestly think that'll be better than throwing Holdo on the team. Because if you're throwing Holdo on the team, Ben and Holdo, I guess, is good. But, like, yeah. I don't know. It feels like you're kind of camping your team to a degree, degree, to, a degree to be able to use the Holdo Cron and three.
Can we get this taunt to drop? Like... You'll have Proven Grounds questions later. Sounds good. Well, we'll talk about them. I could still get points. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Dude, I hold those going to be an amazing Kron regardless. It just feels like you're kind of trading off some of the the goodness of the team just to throw on the Holdo Kron, which obviously the Holdo Kron is still going to be better than like a non Holdo Kron, but it's just. The fact that I have to go like this to go like this instead of just going like this is annoying in a uh, 3v3. <clears throat> okay, we have to Sith Eternal this. And get out of here. Uh, okay. We got. I kind of feel on roll it today. Let's let's put roll it on. Um, where's our separatist? That's not who I want. That's who I want. Roll it. <clears throat> I bought the $10 Conquest Pass for the first time ever because I'm sad I missed out on Bane. Now I'm really praying for Queen Amidala to be amazing as well. I mean, her kit looks great. Although, I do have one worry that I haven't brought up to anyone yet. Uh, her kit reads just like how um, Trench's kit read uh, when we, he first came out. Like, it reads as if it's like super amazing and there's all of these different stuff working together. And it looks like it has so many interesting things. Uh, but, like, I'm kind of worried it's going to end the same way that Trench did. Oh yeah, I hate the Malgus Proving Ground so much. Uh, no. If you don't have Ben Solo, what I would suggest doing is probably, um... Uh... Ray, Holdo, and like... If you don't have Cal Kestis, just throw Finn with them. Or you could also do uh, JTR, whichever one you want to do. Yeah, yeah. Like, she looks really good in that Sector 4 boss fight. But, like, historically, they haven't turned out quite the way that they promised. Ugh, excuse me. Sith Assassin who had gear 6, so can't use it. Oof. Okay. Um, we're gonna do our tactical 2 shot here. Hold on, hold on. Don't jump the gun quite yet. Do we got a Kron for these guys? Do we have a Kron? We'll give them the protection Kron and see if that'll keep them alive. Because if we can keep them alive, that uh, would be fantastic. Okay.
Kill him. Thank you. Oh, that was scary. Basic? Okay. <clears throat> it's going, uh, Bombardment. Welcome, welcome. Uh, we're, what, four teams in right now? We're almost through the front wall. Uh, next up is Imperial Troopers. 500 Crystal GL tickets. Oh, yeah. When I'm going for a GL, I typically do uh, TSP. Like, as I'm getting close to a GL, if I didn't have any GL tickets saved up from the last one, I'll straight up purchase them, like, in advance, and then I'll save up enough crystals to buy another set of them going in so I can see if I can get the character in, like, the first couple of days of the event being open for me. So. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. The whole resistance thing, honestly, if, you, if you're if you using JTR for another team, you're probably sleeping on the Holdocron. But you could alternatively put BB-8 in that slot, and he also gains Foresight. But, yeah, I 100% I would throw in a Resistance person, specifically JTR or BB-8, if you're putting Holdo with him. So. Uh, okay, we are looking for... I kind of want to play this one again, because we didn't really get to play all the way through it, and I really like it. Um, so we're, we're going to do a different one than we normally, normally do. Uh, where's our Imperial Troopers? Um, next week we're going to have a really fun, uh, cron for our Imperial Troopers. I did re-roll this cron. Uh, and so instead of being a doubt, uh, penetration up and offense up, it's the, uh, offense cron. And so we do have an offense cron lying around for them, as well as we have one lying around for our um, our inquisitors that are on defense. So, uh, you're two sixty on Malgus, uh, dude. I'm at two fifty. I'm pretty sure right now. So I've got still like five months away from Malgus. Oh, I was really hoping for the triple attack. Hit her, hit her again. Sweet. I was really hoping that turn meter wouldn't overtake mine because every time an ally dies, they gain 10%. Sick. That made it real easy. Uh, I'm just remembered my opponent has double my GP. All this is probably gonna suck. Ah, you'll be fine, bombardment. Can't beat Malgus one to save my life. Uh, what what GLs do you have? Oh, that's that's actually painful. I don't I don't know what can beat that. We might have to something, throw something real good against it. <laughs> so what you're saying is you just hate it when your opponents breathe. Yeah, basically. <clears throat> See Malak Treya Vader Revan on Malgus Node. Uh, yeah, there's a couple other stuff that you can do with uh, with the Malgus Node with uh, C. Um, so if you have Sith Eternal, do you have Sith Eternal? Do you have Malak? Um, Takes out Balgus easy, no need to waste GLs. Yeah, I we don't have Sidious Cron this week. We just got it, so we'll have it next week. So any tactical two shot strats for SLKR, anything to take out Hux and then CLS cleanup or Imperial Trooper cleanup. If there's no Hux, uh, there's a chance that you can do a first try with Imperial Troopers, but you do kind of have to bait out the stun first. So welcome Black Knight, welcome, welcome. Yeah, the Malgus Proving a Grounds event, You, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do Sith Eternal, rip off all mods except for ones that give you defense on your, uh, on your, uh, Bosk and your Beskar Mandalorian. Do you have Beskar Mandalorian and Bosk done? You should have at least Bosk done. I'm guessing you have Beskar Mandalorian. Yes or no? Because you should have Executor. 
if you have Sith Eternal and you have SLKR, your next step should have been Executor. So, uh, but Bosk and Bam Relics, uh, basically you just take off all their speed, throw on some garbage mods that have like no speed on them, and then you uh, you watch them basically get hit once, and then they just sit there under damage immunity, tanking hits for you. Uh, especially after you link with Sith Eternal, it's going to cause the Bosk to taunt. And so they're going to sit behind Bosk for a hot second, and it'll kind of buy you the time that you need to survive with Sith Eternal. Madness, honestly, gimp your defense. Yeah, put a couple good teams on defense and then leave the rest as trash. Leave your back wall as level one characters if you need to. That's what Onel did for the longest time. No Zetas? Well, you do need the the BAM Zeta for that to work. Um, but yeah, if you just throw in Sith Eternal with some random Sith, including like Talon and Malak and a couple others, you can usually do it. Just basically get as many beefy characters as you can and roll the dice a couple times. Dude, it's crazy how much Malevolence pulls off. Yeah, exactly, TSP. Yeah, it is demoralizing. Okay, so we have an SLKR, so any team that we're panicking on, we can throw SLKR at it. Relic 6 Jedi Anakin, Relic 6 Fives, and Relic 7 BTLB, or 7 Star BLC, BTLB. Heck yeah. Uh, this is going to be our... Okay, I was like, did we accidentally use him somewhere? I'm not seeing him. Why? Not a doubt, Kron. We're going to do that one. Set apparently makes it super easy, says Griffin. Oh my gosh, okay. That is one of the worst modded uh, GBAs I've ever seen. Um, we don't have a song, so I guess uh, next you get your wish. Uh, this is how I'm splitting it. Um, so I'm putting fifth brother with these two. And then I am putting... Um, I believe it's in the back wall. I'm just throwing these two with Tarkin. And so just their leftover, you know, Empire, because they do work with Empire, so... Oh, just, just, we did a remix of this song. I'll have to look it up, Black Knight. Just pull out the <clears throat> card. <laughs> with Give Arnold. That's the problem, is I always card. want to sing along with these songs, and I, I might do it, except that when I go and re-watch the video, the music is off by, like, a quarter second, and I haven't figured out how to fix that yet in my streams, and I it bugs the shiz out of me, so it looks like I just have no sense of timing. And it drives me nuts. And so and I don't want to look like an idiot. And so I try not to look like an idiot. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, Don't post it in here because you can't, obviously. But post the link in uh, in the Discord or just DM me. I have permission to use Takumi's music, so I can throw it on just for fun. Uh, let's see. Hey, 
Okay. So this is an easy clap. Hold oh, quarter of a second. Uh, that would... Uh, dude, my brain would break. I'm, like, trying to consider... Yeah, like, my brain just can't process that. I don't know how to sing a quarter of a second before the lyrics. Like, that That sounds insane to me. I don't know. I'm also one of those guys who, like, I love music, and I'm, I'm fairly good at music. Like, I, I understand music to a certain degree. I can read music and that kind of thing. But, like... Um, if someone else is playing something, uh, like they're playing an instrument or something, it's really hard for me to focus on myself, uh, because they're all I can hear, and so my brain automatically attaches to them and tries to modulate to them. And so it was a big problem in, uh, in band that I had to work on a lot for all of my songs that I was doing, so... <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> Hi, but there's still Sith Trooper and my Imperial Troopers are low gear, so I'm kind of scared. Do you have CLS? You have no yet. Fair. Ooh, I like that bass. Am I not subscribed? My bad. I'm sorry, Takumi. Seeing songs with lessons, people change. The key of the song like five times drives me crazy. Oh, I would drive me crazy too. Not bad, I like this. This is solid. Dude, I uh, I swam so much when I was young. I need to start going to the pool more often. I just, there's no pool in town, so I'd have to drive 30 minutes, basically. Okay. CLS strat, uh, it's, um, it's CLX except you replace, I think, C-3PO with, um, Storm, not Stormtrooper, um, Han. Captain Han Solo. The CLS squad, in a sense, 400, so I'll get C-3 if I'm probably two weeks. Yeah, I mean, I think C-3PO is the one that you knock out for that tier, though. Heck yeah, Ziggy, that's what I love to hear. Let's see. We can use anything on this. I don't trust Geo's against Boss with uh, Boba. If there was no Boba, I'd be much more okay with this. Let's let's take a look at what we can use our Treya on. Yeah. I'm gonna add this one to my playlist. Like this is awesome. Crack sword for a cleanup. I don't know. Maybe. There's no... You won't be able to remove turn meter like you can with other characters. Let's 
But yeah, we'll we'll add that to our playlist. That's awesome. Okay, so we kind of know what we're going to be using in a couple of these battles. I'm honestly might do a mirror match of our uh, Star Killers. I, I feel like that would be a good use of our time and our teams. Uh, I think we'll use our GL here just so we don't have to try and figure out how to deal with this. Uh, we'll use Wampa here. Okay, first person who says which Wanga they want, it gets it. Wanga one, two, or three. Shoot. Actually, we'll say the third person who puts in theirs is the one that we get. May the odds ever be in your favor. Oh, <laughs> Ziggy, it is. Close, cheese balls, close, but you still got it, so it works out for you. Okay, let's get the Wonga. Sorry, got another uh, pretty important DM. Okay, uh, it's not that window. We got so many windows open right now because we opened up the farm to crap upgrade window. Okay, sweet. We got Dewana Wonga, the original. Dewana Wonga. What did you say? Dewana Wonga. I would certainly like to. One is my personal favorite. Your your correct is great. <laughs> so you'll see me in the same t-shirt like two days in a row because i go to work and then i come home and i switch shirts i like take a shower switch to a shirt just to record for you guys and then i take off the shirt and i go to bed and so it's been worn for like 10 minutes and so then i or two hours in the case of a stream and then i go to bed and i wake up the next morning i throw on the same shirt because i'm like i'm not gonna sit here and you know waste my laundry stuff because i'm a poor college student i'm gonna wear this shirt again because i wore it for two hours so thanks for calling me out papa the beagle though just go for the hit Uh, yeah, no problem. Um, I work for Pepsi right now, so I am a merchandiser, and so I go over to all the stores in town, and I just fill up their shelves, basically. And so I, I've been doing that as a job while I've been working through my way through college. So that that is what I do for job. And so lots of physical labor stuff, you know? If it's a day shift, I'm moving about 2,000 pounds a day at least. And then if I'm uh, not working a day shift, it's a night shift, it's a little bit more chill. But yeah, I kind of am on my own and just listen to my music and stuff. It's part of the reason why I'm able to, you know, respond to people throughout the day, as well as just, you know, show up in other people's streams because I can just listen to them while I'm at work. <clears throat> okay. Let's see, what what do we got left? What do we want to use? Dr. Pepper is better. Technically, Pepsi does Dr. Pepper in some places. Uh, in fact, uh, in the fountain, um, Dr. Pepper is done by Pepsi here. Uh, Dr. Pepper is its own company, so it just depends place to place who they deal with. Uh, Zetas that the Inquisitors need is going to be... Uh, Technically, the only one you need to get through the event is the second sister, Zeta. Um, I can double check. Hold on. I think it might be seventh sister. I don't. I think I said that wrong. 
Seventh Sister Zeta. The Seventh Sister Zeta is the one that you need for the event. Uh, and then the other helpful one for the event that a lot of people suggest is the Eighth Brother Zeta. So yeah, Seventh Sister and then Eighth Brother are the two suggested, but the only one you truly need is Seventh Sister. I would suggest both. It did make it much easier for myself. <laughs> the doctorate gives you stuff, the ownership. Ugh. Dude, if I could just graduate and just be the owner of Pepsi, that'd be great. Okay. Um, what do we have left? What do we want to use? Um, next thing I think we need to take a second and do, I think we need to take out the hard teams on top, so that way we can kind of establish what we have left. Um, I am less worried about this one than I am about this one. Uh, I'm thinking... <clears throat> yeah, that's it's kind of depressing, Project Martin. You're 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 right. When I found out that too, I was like, oh, that's so annoying. President as a little pee pee. Good point. Good point. Just as a little passion project, I'm just like, oh yeah, I'll just become the president of uh, Pepsi. Okay, so let's take out our three scary teams up here. We kind of have teams earmarked for them. First things first, we're gonna pull it out of the sky before they can pull it out of the sky, because I feel like that's uh that's funny. That is not what I want. That is what I want. Um, I passed it, I'm sure. Ufus, where's my Ufus? There, there's Star Killer. Okay. Um, I mean, it'll ensure that we don't lose because eventually they'll hit a point where they can't gain turn meter, but we should be fine regardless. Oh, guys, crap, crap, crap. I forgot to put on the song. We're going to lose. Where's the song? Where's the song? Where's the song? Oh, okay. Oh, that was close. We're good. We're good. I'm going to throw that out there. That was close. I should have done the other ability. Okay. Shock is out there. Remove her turn meter. Um, remove his turn meter. We're fine with where we're at. Go all in on Mar Jade. She's invisible, so no counterattacks. So let's go after. Her. Okay, fine. Dodge, jerk. Go all in for the hit. Oh, come on, jerk. Oh, we still got the banners. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Full banners, full banners. I'm ready. <clears throat> uh, yeah, pr proving grounds is only for 24 hours from noon to noon or whatever time zone you're in. I don't know if it's noon to noon for everyone, but it's noon to noon for me. So. Heck yeah. Playing, welcome, welcome. Uh, okay, so next up we got Adrad and we have her. Okay, we're gonna use bounty hunters here. Where's our boss? We got no tank, so this shouldn't be too bad. Boss, there we go. Uh, do we have a emotional support cron? No, that's for Maul. I was like, that's that's pretty dang good. Okay, uh, we'll do that. Okay, uh, let's go with uh, this is the way on this one. I would like to 
see the baby. Dang it, they dodged one of our attacks. This is the way. Uh, it's fine. I can bring you in a uh, let's see. Or I can bring you in cold. Just keep working on him, honestly. I would like to see the baby. This is the way. Okay. Yeah, agreed, Madness. Are we blind? Deploy the likes. Let's clear off everything just so that way we can kind of preserve our uh, stuff. There it is, guys. She's got the high ground. Sweet. <clears throat> Okay, Darth Revan here. Uh, there's Darth Revan, there's Malak, and where's our Basti? Okay. But yeah, if you guys can like the video, I really appreciate it. It does help me out because the algorithm works in the way of the more that you interact with my videos and the more you interact with my streams you are able to push it to other people that can show up and be part of this damn community. Also, you guys liking and interacting with the streams is also what allows you to be on the top of the list for when I gift out my free 10 memberships each month to you guys. So keep that in mind. The more you interact, the more you like the video, the more chance you have of becoming a member, getting access to our member-only content, getting access to us doing your Grand Arena with you on stream, uh, as well as, you know, our uh, members only stream and game night that's coming up soon as well as emojis and other things so definitely something to look at uh let's give him we don't have one okay i don't really want to use a doubt cron let's just give him an emotional support cron i told you that was a bad idea i can bring you in warm or i can bring you in cold this is the way oh that's right there at least she is so annoying dude OG Mando is so incredibly good definitely a relic I highly suggest for everyone <clears throat> okay I do want to take a second. I have completely forgot to put this up at the top of the screen. Uh, I do want to take a second and talk about our Relic 9 Darth Jar Jar tip jar. Or a jar, 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 if you will. Um, so today is the last day before uh, the rollover for the month. So it's the last day of the month. And so any money donated today will basically be insured to go straight into Jar Jar within time for me to get Jar Jar uh, because we don't know if Jar Jar is coming out in the next month and a half or so. And so uh, I only get a payment once a month. So if you guys want to donate to the Jar Jar Jar, today is the day. If you donate $5, we do do roster roasts. You can choose your friend. You can choose someone you know. You could choose yourself and I'll give you a roast. Uh, otherwise, you can always ask for a roster review and you'll be put at the top of the list if you donate. But anything helps to the Jar Jar Jar. We are trying to get that Relic 9 Jar Jar. So, something to look at. Anything that happens today is going to help a ton just pushing us over that boundary and over that limit to put as much as we can into Jar Jar. And see if we can at least get him on, you know, first day. If we can get him up to Relic 9, that'd be great, but... It all kind of depends on just how much we can raise. I'm putting everything a poor college student can into getting that Relic 9 Jar Jar, but I need your help. 
your dam contributions are very helpful in building this beautiful beaver dam we have going. <clears throat> oh yeah, Revan's theme music is great. I'm not getting through that SLKR, but you're still going to win though? Heck yeah. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so we got rid of our, our hard stuff. The raid is so boring. And I, it's not looking like the next raid is not going to be any better if it's anything like the Sector 3 boss. I have five Zetas on SLKR and does great. I'm not sure about... Yeah. Uh, with... I don't know who asked about SLKR too, but, you know, he can do his entire... Um, his entire ultimate he can do with just two Zetas. Uh, I said that in my uh, video, and many people have done it since, so. <sighs> okay, let's see. What, what do we got left? Okay, so we're going to use SLKR here. That's just kind of a, a given. Um, so we have a full SLKR team. What does that leave us for the rest? Um, we have... Okay, so we have a Savage team to throw out. We have a... Uh, Keller and Beck team, we have a Jedi team, we have a Maul team. Yeah, so we can we can throw our entire first order like this just for fun. Do I think we need it? Not really. Uh, we can we can just in case it. Um, give ourselves a solid first order team. Made uh, to box out finalizer. I don't have a deal ship on offense. What should I take against it? Uh, so TSP is meant to box out finalizer. Uh, go look up the triple attacker uh, finalizer versus triple attacker. You can still do it, but it requires that you use the TIE fighter instead of the... Uh, uh, I don't remember which TIE fighter is, but use the TIE fighter instead of Kylo Ren's command shuttle. So it's, it's very interesting. Go take a look at it. It's worse banners and it's really scary, but it still works. So... Um, yeah, I think we'll go like that and call it a day. Give ourselves a Doubt Cron. Just in case. Gosh, I hate torture so much. I'll... Can we kill her and get rid of spare parts at the same time? Okay. Uh, let's siphon... Actually, we'll stun you. Just because we don't want to deal with uh, that damage. Gosh, the banners are awful when you go up against Shorty. She's so good at bleeding banners. <clears throat> What's a go good score in Bronzium Gak round? I have no idea. We could calculate it, but I have no idea offhand. Uh, BB, it sounds like they're trying to. I, I don't know if they will. Uh, I hope not. You got one 1174? One, well, go calculate it, dude. I, I don't know how many uh, teams you have, as well as how much your zones are worth is the problem. So we'd have to pull out a calculator. If you, you know, if you take a look, you can, you can calculate kind of what a max score is. And then you basically just want to take the max score and, like, minus, like, you know... 20 or 30 and you have basically what a what a good score is <clears throat> Harrison welcome welcome do we have a member in the chat that can give us a general Kenobi for him thank you Apple you are amazing you're 3.4 million crummy one I believe in you second breakfast speaking of second breakfast that's what I'm having for dinner tonight so I guess I am having a second breakfast Uh, okay, so this can take this out. I know that for a fact. Um, I've done it before. It's an easy battle. So we'll just throw it in and call it a day. We need to get ourselves another Jedi Cron for this team. Light size to spell. Uh, yeah, we'll just do this. At <laughs> second breakfast, hide. <laughs> I'm going to have you for dinner. What about Elevensies? Fool of a took. Um. 
Dude, I just saw something talking about the symbolism between the end of the Fellowship and the Ring and the end of Return uh, of the King. And I gotta be honest, I never noticed it. Of uh, um, Sam drowning, like falling under the water and Frodo grabbing him and pulling him up versus the end of the movie where it's the opposite. Uh, like, the end of the third movie anyways, where it's the opposite. Like, I, I was like, this is freaking cool. I love this. Uh, can we kill you off before you get potency up? No? Okay. Oh, I should have just killed off Dash. <sighs> Let's pass it to you. And we'll pass it to you. Uh, all in on you. Okay. Uh, and then we'll basic on you. You're mean. How dare you? Okay, that kills her. Dang it. There was my banners. I shouldn't have done that. 2.8 million Chrome 3. Some matches are wild. Yeah, absolutely. If you're playing good, you're going to have some crazy matchups, guys. Um, okay, we don't have a Kron for this. Do we have any other scary teams on North? Sagarera? Sagarera is not overly scary, but let's uh let's Keller and Beck this. Let's get there. There's always a bigger fish in here. We completely forgot our song on the last one. I'm surprised we didn't lose. How about how dare I? Uh, okay, there's always a bigger fish. Let's let's get in here. <laughs> oh, I love that team so much. Oh, gosh. Okay, so... Do I have a team that will get me full banners on this? I honestly don't trust um, Savage in this battle. I think I'll throw Savage Kreia down south. We could do just Savage Treya here and then Maul up top, or down below. Let's do that. So let's, because Savage Treya should guarantee us full banners. Ground total of six banners. Heck yeah. Oh, 26. Still, that's not, not bad at all. Control, Alt, Delete. Uh, okay, so let's get these guys. There it is. Hey, Bombardment. Welcome, welcome. Do we have a member that can get us a General Kenobi? Go ahead and take out Django. I freaking hate Django so incredibly much. He just randomly does insane amounts of damage.
Savage, why aren't you taunting? Ooh. Yeah, okay. Just kill her. Kill him, whatever it is. Okay, I'll take the 53 banners. I'm pissed, though. Yeah, bye-bye full -bye banners. Yeah, the amount of RNG on his damage is incredibly insane. Okay. Um, Maul, Gar Saxon, Imperial Super Commando. Not that they'll need it, but just in case, we'll give them their Kron. Yeah, exactly. You're not wrong, Madness. There's been no one for so long, 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 so long. Who are you? You, 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 you. Formerly Darth, 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 Team is so dumb. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. We we didn't put on Savage's song. That's why he was failing us. Okay, so we're through everything. We're on to fleets. Uh, since we're on to fleet, yeah. So like, this is a garbage defense for fleets. Okay, sounds good, Nix. You have a great night. Um, okay, let's see. Look what has become of you. I gotta hold this up. And yet I can feel his presence so close. So close, Kenobi. Sorry, I'm having trouble clicking on this. Since we're getting close to uh, finishing, I like your new legs. I need to do this. I must have revenge. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's see what we got. So this is, hold on, let's kind of make a plan. I want to use Negotiator here. I want to use Chimera here, which means we're going to be using a uh, Finalizer here. There's a Finalizer. Let's do this. We're gonna get our song in here for this. Let's get our song going. What if I told you that the Republic was now under the control of the Dark Lord of the Sith? Hundreds of senators are now under the influence of the Sith Lord, all Dark Sith. Regional governors now have direct control over their territories. Fear. To keep the local systems in line. Fear of this battle station. Any attack made by the rebels against this station. So you see how low health he is? That that would be why you up your relic levels on your executor. Don't be too proud of this technological terror Dang it, that dodge. That dodge just killed him. That is so annoying. If we hadn't had that dodge, we'd be fine. Gosh, I hate dodges so much. Why is there always dodges and freaking uh kill him? I hate 
dodges so much. So. for what light speed modes are the best are you still working on that uh like honestly i have it recorded and ready to go i just haven't posted it because i haven't really thought it's like the best video if i'm being honest Yeah, I need to I need to re-record it and talk a bit more about the subject matter that I'm talking about. I need your help. They took the child. We will help you. Mandalorians have been in exile from our home world for far too long. I will kill them all. So I have three fleets left. Restored to me, Mandalore. me. Be within range. Get out of here. That was the worst RNG like I have ever seen for that fight. Um, what am I gonna do? Because this fleet will absolutely destroy me if I throw in something crap against it. Can can home one do this? Because if home one can do this, then I think I'll be fine. That. Um. That. 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 Yeah, that's the Rebel Y Wing. Uh, let's check real quick. Bet Dynasty, he's always great. Yeah, there's not even worth checking on here because the frickin' thing only has like everyone's using GL ships, and it's like I don't care. Okay, Negotiator, Chimera, Home One. Okay, so obviously it's gonna be slightly different, but how does it work? Okay, so you're just basic. Got it. Okay. Hey, Wep. Welcome, welcome. Does Relic increase uh, by one make the ship have plus one speed? I don't think so. I don't think that's how it works. It could be, though. I'm not sure, BB. I'd have to go check. But I think some Relic levels are going to be more than one speed. Some are going to be one speed. 
Sounds good, Wep. You're good. You're good. <clears throat> okay. I think we can try this. I mean, if this fails, we lose. If it succeeds, we win. Let's uh, let's take a look at what we got to play for this. Let's get it's a trap. And actually, no, no. We need to be hyped up. We need to manifest this win, guys. We are throwing on Babu Frick. Okay, we got this. We got this. Got to lock in. Got to lock in. Okay. Manifest. Okay, all in on Sunfac was what they did. Why? What? Why do we get no assists? That was a terrible opening play. What? Okay. Oh my gosh, why are the dodges? Oh. Oh. Kill him. Thank you. I, uh, I need a tank. Like, I just, I, I can't win today, guys. I, I guess I can't. Like, things were going so well, and then just dodge after dodge after dodge. There's no point, because we didn't get any of the key characters out. Yeah, exactly. Like, I was getting no assists, I was getting no damage, like, just nothing worked in that entire battle. Yeah, seriously, like... Well, that's three losses, guys. That's three losses for the week, because Arn Jesus hates me on Easter weekend. Gosh, freaking dang it. Yeah, like, I was doing zero, zero damage. I got no assists off the opening plays whatsoever. Like, that was awful from start to finish. How am I going to get through? There's no way to get through. I don't have the fleets. Okay. Negotiator there. Both those battles were so incredibly stupid. Uh, what about Babu? Babu just made us lose. Okay. So, 
negotiator. And the lineup is you, 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 and then you. No, no, not you. It's you, and you bring in that. Okay. Hello there. Hello there. Especially when you're trying to go for a Relic 9 Jar Jar because, you know, your viewers voted. Hello there. I could really use the crystals this Hello week, there. but it's just been absolute garbage. Basic. Um, big hit on Sunpack, who apparently is not existent at the moment. Um, big hit. is taunting you. Yep. Bring him off. Of course, they get the absolute perfect RNG of marking down Anakin. Holy crap, guys. Kill him. my third high bomber good point actually I've, I've got a dog I could sacrifice I don't know if I have a bunny on hand but I could sacrifice Mara maybe No, Babu, get out of here. Yeah, I don't think I have anything for that last fleet. We'll we'll try our best, but I don't think we got anything. This isn't going to work because I didn't put in uh, the other guy. Of course. Why wouldn't he have foresight right now? Okay. Okay. I brought in the wrong frickin' capital ship. Of their own destruction. There is no escape. 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 There is no escape. Escape. Hey, hey, hey. There is no...
Sure, I haven't used that song on uh, on stream. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll still win this. Okay. Okay, guys. Protection up is killing me. I can't get through it like at all. That's death. Dang it. Oh, if it hadn't taken a turn, we would have gotten another ally out. Uh. Oh, 
Let's see, what song do I want to listen to for this? I haven't heard this one in a while. Yeah, these, this team's so great. I have come up with on defense. Well, that's it, guys. That's all we got. Yeah. It it was imp oh, I keep accidentally opening that program and it drives me crazy. Um it was not bad actually. It was just the worst possible RNG on both of these two battles happened. Like I cannot believe that dodge at the beginning of Executor, it just destroyed everything and just kept going that direction. And then right here we got dodges we got a whole bunch of just no assists like this was just garbage from straight you know start to finish there's a chance he can't full clear you yeah but like black knight black knight i'm just saying you spelled it wrong it's d-a-m damn um but yeah, he has Sith Eternal, Jedi Master Luke, Lord Vader, and Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, and Jedi Master Kenobi. And the only one he put on defense was Lord Vader. Plus he has, uh, on offense, he has Leviathan and Profundity. So, like, I, I don't have much hope. Oh, gosh. Okay. 100% just unfortunate start to finish. Leg, why? I swear, this guy is pulling my leg. Wombology. The history of Wombo. Wombology. It's first grade, Spongebob. Um... Right, roster reviews. Okay, I got about 45 minutes before I gotta hop off. So, who needs roster reviews? We have... A couple here. Uh, Django Bet. Um, no, was that today? Django Bet, didn't we just do you yesterday? Like last night? Or I guess technically this morning at like 1 in the morning. Uh, Proving Grounds tier. Which tier are you looking at, Madness? Sorry, I, I don't remember. Are you the one talking about Ray uh, with the Ray versus Inquisitors? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, okay, so 12.35 a.m. Yeah, okay, that's the wrong start. Yep, okay, 3 p.m. Got it, yep. Okay, we're good. Sorry. Still a little tired from last night. Inquisitors got me down, you know. Okay. Yeah, the tie. Um, the tie interceptor. I mean... Are you using L3? Uh, because basically it's just you need to survive for long enough. It's nothing more than that. 
Uh, if you have the Zeta on um, Quill, you might get a little bit more out of it. If you do L3, JTR, Quill, and IG11, you can try those four and see if you can do it. Uh, scythe tier? I mean, it's all in this video, guys. Scythe tier is uh, right here. Scythe is just... You, can, you, you hit like a wet noodle for a while, and you slowly build things up on Ray, and then eventually you'll start hitting the sudden whirlwinds. And so you're just trying to time out the sudden whirlwinds as much as you can, and that's just all you do. Uh, I wish I could say that like I could go show you right now, but I didn't. A, I didn't buy the con. Uh, the conquest pass and B I can't afford the conquest pass right now so yeah so I, I would try out IG 11 and Queel uh, I did do a couple of these with them uh, before and it works so I would try them next uh, you mean this why oh, thank you I appreciate it. this is the first time I've tried this kind of uh, facial hair so I, I've been enjoying it Okay, let's see. Uh, we have what's his bucket? Uh, Biba, Biba, what is your uh, name on YouTube? Thus is the question. Go comb my five cats. Okay, you have fun with that, buddy. Okay. Does Finalizer beat Chimera with Geo ships? Yes. Finalizer beats everything, basically, that's not an actual team. <clears throat> the only time that Finalizer doesn't beat the Geo ships is if they're with Malevolence, because then you start having to deal with, uh, what are they called? The Buzzies. Uh, okay, so I don't know who this person is. I don't know if Bibba's still here, uh, so we're going to skip him for now, and then if he jumps in chat, then we will come back to him. But he has a whole lot here for me to read, so if he's not here, I'm not going to bother reading it for now. And I'll just move on to the next person. Uh, I don't wail. I don't remember your name in chat. What is your name in chat? So, can you please take a look and see if I should change any mods? Yeah, I can take a look. Okay, there's there's Biba. Okay. How dare you? I'm so upset at you, Stefan. Okay. Um... So, still a fairly new account, around five months. I actually started this account years ago, but dropped it off pa fast and started playing recently. Had the luck of not reaching Fleet Arena the first time I played. Uh, I rushed Exec and bloated very hard with the Lightspeed bundles. Makes sense. Trying to stabilize my account as much as possible. The end of the current farming run, I will have Executor, Finalizer, Negotiator, SLKR, First Order, Bounty Hunters, Treya Team, Starkiller Team, CLS, Geos, and both Revens with Malak, and some sort of Dash Team. Jeez, you are going for everything at the same time. Um, you're going to finish GL Ray as well after the Revens and SLK are done. Uh, I would like some advice on what direction I should go after that. I have some backbone that are fairly close. I formulated a plan to go for Jedi Knight Luke into maybe Jabba. Issue is I need to finish Malak first, having uh, 40k get one saved up at the moment, which is awesome. That's... I want to say about 26k, 29k, somewhere around there, less than what you need for him. So you're you've already got solid amounts, and the you know obviously you can get them from the raid store now, which is super super nice. Uh, and then you can start working on Wampa and Hoda. Rolo will be done after a negotiator. Okay. Uh, do you think Wampa could be a Yoda lead Jedi or General Kenobi Ala team? Yeah, he should be. That should be no problem whatsoever. Sounds good, Apple E. You have a great day. Happy Easter, my friend. Um, so one of my plans is to side farm the profundity, use the excess energy to finish backbone, 
and some missing links like Veers, Iden, Troopers, Rex, Zori, Jedi Knight, Anakin, maybe Vandor, Chewie. One issue I noticed that with, the, with that plan is that Biston is in the shop and then no longer available anywhere else, so it's going to take you a while. Um, I would like gas as well, but he will need to get one as well to find the Hoda and the Wampa, so that's kind of a waste of greed. Marauders getting farmed up for Negotiator, but the pilots are kind of not fitting in my plans. So that's another issue. Another concern I have is that my Galactic Republic Separatist factions are basically non-existent, and that I will suck for the new raid. Any advice is appreciated. This is my current plan. Oh, gosh. Okay. So, main goal, future goal, or secondary goal, tertiary goal, streaming goals, giant loop. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, well, let's take a look at your account and kind of just take a look at where you are right now. Oof, that's rough bombardment. Do you have the, uh, the... The enchilada at five stars yet? Uh, it's going, Cube Labs. Just taking a look at an account, an ambitious account, for sure. Okay, first things first, I love seeing uh, Savage here. Savage is really nice. I, I always love seeing a Savage. Mmm. So are you working on SLK right now? Like you have all the requirements done, right? Or are you still working on the finalizer? Where's your finalizer? You have the requirements for finalizer. Did you, like, just finish getting the requirements for Finalizer or something? Okay. Let's take a look at your characters. Okay. So you're basically getting SLKR and then following that you're going to get Executor. Which is a great two farms. Okay, so you have a ton here trying to farm backbones, and I don't think that's a bad thing except for the fact that you are going to be kind of abandoning um, a lot of the farms you currently have. Okay, so you don't have time to reach it. That makes sense. Okay, so you don't have the seven star ship. Got it. That makes more sense. I was like, why? I should be here. You bought the pack. Okay, so... I would say instead of focusing hard on trying to uh, get a whole bunch of backbone teams started, like I love the idea, but like you're you're sleeping on kind of what you already have. Um, and so what I want to see get done first things first before anything else is if you're going to be going for executor, obviously SLKR should be your first priority. Uh, oh yeah, you got executor at four stars. How did, what? Did you just purchase it? 
Rookies, you don't have a finished Razor Crest. You must have just purchased it. As soon, okay. Sounds good. Wild. Yeah, Bane is great with Darth Vader, Peter Watson. Like, that, he's great. Especially if you have the Kron, I keep using it with Darth Vader and taking out all kinds of stuff with it. Um, but yeah, he's great with Darth Vader. Um, okay. Yeah, so you're splitting your focus a lot, and eventually you'll get everything that you want on your list, uh, that you gave here. Um, let's kind of take a look at your little factions here and there. So you have the Zori, but you don't have the Finn Zeta, so you can't be using Zori right this moment. Yes, if you get the bare minimum requirements of Executor, you can purchase Executor. It's true of every capital ship um, that has an event, basically. If you get the four-star requirements for all the ships, you can then start just purchasing the packs as long as you have all of the character requirements. And so, it's not often that you see it. Uh, when I finish, I will have basically free five-star and then spam crystals for a seven-star unlock. Okay, fair enough. Um, so yeah, you're, you're sleeping on a Finn Zori team here that you could be getting holds on. Um, you just need to add in the Zeta for Finn himself. You're also sleeping on your Krex. He should be at least gear nine right now because he is usable at gear nine. Uh, and so this is kind of what I'm talking about when it comes to like, you have this huge list of things that you want to go for and go grab. And I get it having peepees. Peepees are fine. Big peepees, little peepees, they're all great. Uh, but having this much on your list, you're kind of kind of lose sight of what you're currently farming, and you're going to end up uh, spending a lot of money and time trying to go for everything at once. Um, SLKR, you only need two Zetas to uh, get through the event, so you can afford to spend some Zetas other places. His basic Zeta is just dealing damage an additional time. Like, there, there's some Zetas that you can skip out on on SLKR if you want to spend them on other characters. Um, that's what AP has done for all three of his GL capital ships. That makes sense. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so like you're, you're sleeping on your Phoenix. Your Phoenix could be a great defensive and offensive team for you. You're sleeping on your Zori resistance team that you could be having right here. Um, let's take a look at your CLS team. So one, two, three... You have C-3PO, your 3-POC still needs work. Uh, you need your 3-POC up as soon as possible, just because otherwise you're going to have Guard in the wrong spot on that team. And so I can 100% see getting in a CLS, but the Revens, the Revens are so far out there for you and so far to the left field that like it feels off. Uh, and you could go for JML, but as you said, you're, you're waiting on Hoda, you're waiting on Wampa, um, you still have to throw Malak shards at it if you're going to go for Malak. Um, and so, and then on top of that, you're also worried about this next year. So you have a lot going on and you're kind of pushing in every direction. Uh, and it's going to be a struggle. So what I would do if I were you is, uh, choose one of those directions and go for it. And so currently you have the makings and the things to get SLKR. You need to finish your SLKR. You need to finish your uh, Star Killer. That is like ASP right now. That is what you need to do. Uh, you need to work on your Zori. Get her up to gear nine. Get yourself a Fin Zeta. You need to get yourself the Crex to gear nine. So both of those are important. You also need to relic your Bam. Uh, Bam relic is going to help a lot in keeping you in the top ten of your arena at all times. Relic your Bam ASAP. Uh, and then short of that, like, you could definitely go any of those directions, but just pick one for now. Um, yeah, I, I saw the, uh, the one piece for Starkiller, so it looks like you're definitely working on it, which is why I didn't make it as much of a big deal. Uh, um, but yeah, and so you're, you're going for a lot, but you're kind of spreading yourself out way too much. So, if you are worried about next year, the problem is, if you're gonna go for gas, you need to have a... Uh, General Grievous. You are close on General Grievous, which is great. Um, but, you know, if you're worried about next year and you're worried about not having clones, uh, or, or not clones, but um, Galactic Republic and that kind of thing, going for gas is going to be great for your account for, for that route. And you want gas anyways. And as much as, you know, Sith Empire is cool and all, you don't really have any of the stuff to go towards it at the moment. Um... 
like you're, you're going to be farming up from scratch basically for everything you're the only GL ship in your fleet so it's easy yeah which I mean that's great and all but like you're going to want that BAM relic because even in Grand Arena just throwing that executor on defense with a relic BAM is going to be annoying to everyone like finalizer you do the triple attacker even people with finalizer are going to struggle with it because the triple attacker unless you are good at fleets you cannot pull off the trigger the triple attacker and so you can permanently just know that one of your areas in your uh in your grand arena it cannot be taken basically for a long time so definitely not something to sleep on like bam relic is going to be great no matter what and it also is just helpful in events and stuff so <clears throat> um but yeah so as much as i'd like to say you have a list here and you should go for it you're pushing a lot of backbone teams and you're thinking about doing a lot of backbone teams when you have teams ready to go that you're not working on. You have a Finzori team that's one of the best teams in the game for defense. You have a Phoenix team that is really, really great meta team that you you don't have worked on at, at all. You have a Ray that you can get very quickly. I'd rather see you get a Ray and an SLKR over finishing, you know, uh, another backbone team because you have the requirements done uh and so uh, and then what your energy should be going towards is whichever one you think is truly going to help your account because honestly if i were to suggest something to you it would be sith eternal because sith eternal is going to fit in your roster perfectly because you have executor because you know you you have slkr um it's going to be i i, I Milk, I genuinely don't know. I, I, I don't. <laughs> I, have, I have no idea why. But it's called Triple Attacker. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, and so you're, you're kind of sleeping on some teams that you currently have, and you need to choose a direction you want to go. And so if you are worried about uh, this next year's raid and everything, like so if you're worried about the raid that's coming this year, you're going to want to start going for gas. And you'll just hold off on Sith Empire and Old Republic for a while. Um, because you're farming up everything from scratch no matter which direction you're going. Like, if this was an older account and you had, like, a bunch of Gear 12s and a whole bunch of areas, I would be more inclined to be like, yeah, work on everything, you're fine. But you're going to want to focus down on things. Because you're an older account that, you know, gave up pretty early, as you said. Uh, so that means that you don't have a lot going in a lot of different directions. And so choose a direction and go. You're really close to JML. You're really close to Starkiller. Or, sorry, Starkiller. You're really close to JML. You're really close to Sith Eternal. Those are the two that are obvious farms. Uh, so you can start pushing into Hoda and Wampa if you want to and go for JML. Or you can go for Sith Eternal and keep saving them up and start farming the shards for gas. Uh, or you can start farming shards and go full in on the Revens. But basically you need to choose an overall farm and then you need to choose a side farm and just stick to one because right now you're going to keep spreading out and you're going to end up just being gimped uh, in a lot of different directions because you're going to basically freeze your account for a while. Like obviously money does speed it up, but I would rather see multiple GLs, multiple characters in this roster than just oh, I have a Gear 12 Anakin and a Gear 12 Padme and a Gear 12 this and that, and then I also have a Gear 12 over here and just spreading yourself out a ton. So that's kind of what I'm worried about with this account. So focus down what you currently have, kind of work on what you currently have. Uh, it'll help you in GAC to continue to climb and get crystals that way. So that way, you know, you can go even faster. <clears throat> and then on top of that, just pick a singular farm for now. Um, my, my personal farm would be Sith Eternal just because not only do you get into Jedi Knight Anakin that can you, you can use in the raid, uh, you'll also get a Qui-Gon team out of that because you can just get Qui-Gon up to like gear six, um, Proving Grounds mostly. Uh, but that's the thing is why for Proving Grounds, <laughs> um, Stefan, with, with Ray and with SLKR, you can take out every single Proving Grounds except for Malgus. Uh, and so you don't need any backbone teams for Proving Grounds. 
Uh, you just need those two GLs, and you can do everything but Malgus. And then Sith Eternal will finish Malgus. Or if you, you know, you don't have that, you can do some other things, obviously. Um, it's a difficult one, so you're going to need a Treya team, sure. But if you go for that Sith Eternal, you'll have all three GLs to do every single tier of every single one. And the requirements for Sith Eternal also give you the ability to do it three stars without Sith Eternal. So even on your way to Sith Eternal, you'll be able to get that Proving Ground done. Uh, so honestly, I wouldn't worry about proving grounds at all. Like you'll have an SLKR, you'll have a Ray. Both of those are going to do everything you need in proving grounds. The only one that's going to take a while is Malchus. And that's, uh, you know, if you go for Sith Eternal, that fixes it. So yeah, you, you don't need SLKR. Technically Ray destroys all of them except for Malchus and the SLKR himself defeats every single one except for TIE Interceptor and Malchus. So yeah, and exactly. Sith Eternal is really easy. You already have the ship that you need for it. You have the six-star TIE Bomber. You have the Piet done. You have the Vader done. You have the Emperor Palpatine done. I think I saw a Gear 12 uh, or a Gear 11. Um, oh, no, it's just a seven-star Grand Admiral Thrawn. A Gear 12 Moff Tarkin. So, like, you already kind of have your foot in the door into Sith Eternal. And so that would be my suggestion to you, because I, I know people talk about the Backbone teams, AP Gains uh, talks about a ton, but the problem is at this point with Lightspeed Bundles, we're so close to so many GLs that you might as well get those GLs, because going out of your way for gas, going out of your way for all these other characters, they're nice, but you can spend your energy now farming up the shards while you do these GLs, because you want to take advantage of what's in your account right now. <clears throat> Is Kyle Katarn Relic? Yeah, Kyle Katarn's Relic in here. Yeah, I'm still doing reviews, Caleb. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, take this as... I, I'm not going to give you a direct path. This is That is what I think you should do, is work on those characters that you have in the, your account. Like, you know, the Krex, the Zori, Relic in your BAM, things like that. I think you should take a break after SLKR and do those things. Uh, because even a Gear 9 Zori in Kyber has gotten me many holds. Uh, so don't sleep on Zori. Krex is the same way. I've gotten holds with him in Erodium and Kyber. Don't sleep on him either. So don't, don't be sleeping on these teams that you have in here that are fantastic. And my suggestion is SLKR, Ray, Sith Eternal. At that point, you'll have everything for Proving Grounds. You'll have a solid start in your roster for a whole bunch of stuff in Grand Arena. You'll be able to do a lot of events, getting yourself a lot of Chirotex, and you're, you're going to be basically in a solid spot. And then at that point, because you're focusing on those in a row and you don't really need shards for them, you're going to have time to farm up all of the shards that you need for whatever your next side farm is. What is the minimum star for Krex to be usable? where you have them two star three star you're going to be able to use them same with story two three two star three star you can use story <clears throat> you have the phoenix relict and so they're really the engine of that team so it's definitely something to take a look at um i used him at three star for a long time at three star gear nine and was getting you know holds and so i there are characters that you're sleeping on that you could just put in bare minimum effort and they'd immediately be good so something to look at uh but yeah just just cautioning you i like the way this account is looking i love seeing an executor early it's always amazing to see an executor early um, but I am a little worried about how much you're spreading out and how much you want to go for. Uh, and I get it. Uh, there's a lot of exciting stuff to go get, but you have also right here, like you've been talking about getting the negotiator, which is, you know, great. You know, you want a meta killer fleet, but then you already have the start of a meta killer fleet right here. You'll start being able to do the tie interceptor proving grounds. And so I'd much rather see this tie defender become up and become gear 12. Uh, to start off this fleet and then getting a Palpmobile, a uh, Palpatine's shuttle. These are, if you're going for Sith Eternal, it'll fit right in. You have to relic the pilots anyways for that farm. And so you're going to immediately have a really good Chimera fleet going, which is a great meta killer fleet. The Chimera fleet can beat every single fleet in the game with the right compositions on it. So Mara Jade should be at least over 300 speed and bombardment. 330 is the perfect spot. <clears throat> Uh, even without Krex's Zeta, you can still use him just fine. Zori, it's very helpful to have her Zetas, but as long as you have at least the Finn Zeta, you'll get holds. I used her before I had uh, Zetas on Zori, and I still put in work. So, 
But one of the Zori Zeta is really required to get the Ray uh, event done, but it's just the only Zeta that's required to finish the Ray event up to getting Ray. And then you just gotta drop the Zetas on Ray. But yeah, so a warning and an encouragement. Your account looks great. Don't sleep on what you got and just keep going uh let me take a look at your mods overall i'm guessing your mods are going to need some solid work overall i do love seeing mara jade over 300 speed uh you say that but interceptor is user usable at five stars and that's 145 shards which means that is seven what is that seven eight months seven months from uh when you get your ray and so it's really not going to be that long like, it'll take you longer to get the requirements for gas than it will be to finish High Interceptor, basically. Uh, no, I 100% get it. You're a five-month-old account. You're going to have crap mods in general. Honestly, these mods look pretty good for five months. Keep going, keep working on it, and keep working on those mods. Uh, you have a, It looks like you have a solid idea of what characters should be fast. You got Mara Jade up here, Greek Karga, Bosk, Admiral Piet, Dash Rendar. Definitely something to look at. Um... Additional add to your farm, to your farming list. Uh, because you're going for Sith Eternal, you're going to be getting a really solid Imperial Troopers team going. Uh, with that, I want to see this Dark Trooper Relic 5 ASAP, because that'll give you an instant counter to any Darth Revens you see. That'll give you an instant counter to everything. It doesn't matter what your other troopers are at, as long as you have Piet with his Zeta, uh, Veers with his Zeta, and then Dark Trooper at Relic 5, you'll be able to take on team after team, clean up GLs, Fantastic team, don't sleep on it. I suggest doing it like right after you finish Sith Eternal or right before you finish Sith Eternal. One of the two. <clears throat> okay. But yeah, solid looking account, dude. Just take it one step at a time and focus on what you have and what's connected to your account. Um, allowing you to do that will basically make it so you'll never go out of your way. And so like you have plenty of rebels and so you can kind of jump right into rebels and go that direction if you wanted to, or you can take a full on PP. Pee -pee. If you want to go for a little PP on the side and go for gas, I think that's excellent for the stuff coming this next year, but start farming the shards for your uh, future project now and start finishing your, uh, stuff you have currently in your account. His Ezra is insane, or I just suck. <laughs> One of the two. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Hurricane Ezra uh, with Vader? Is it Relic 7 Vader? Does he have all his Zetas? Like... Yeah, Jabba's slicing mats are super, super nice, and I can get why, but the problem is you're... You don't have Rolo, you don't have Hoda, you don't have Yoda, and so you can go that direction. I 100% think that you can go that direction. Um, and I, I'm going to leave it up to you. Uh, if you want to go that direction, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. It's just going to be farming up a lot of characters you don't currently have in your roster because you don't have anything that's really pushed in that direction already. So it's up to you whether you want to go for efficiency or for a passion project. If you think it'll help your account more, go for it. But finishing what you have, I think, is definitely the first thing you should do. Relic 5, all Zetas on Vader. Yeah, I mean, I can see how that would struggle against a Relic uh, Phoenix team. You have to be careful with Relic Phoenix teams because uh, if you can't get Kanan out, they'll just sit there and heal off of your damage over time just constantly. So, yeah, the Relic 3 Savage is great to see. I do love seeing a Relic 3 Savage. Okay, we spent a lot of time on this account. We're going to hop into the next couple accounts as fast as we can. I just did a remod so you can please take a look if I should change any mods. Okay. Um, yeah, no problem, Stefan. And 
figure out your road ahead like get really specific with it and figure out kind of just what your steps are just label them like one two three four kind of get your character set up you can do it in your squads tab whatever you want to do you can do another uh spreadsheet if you want to do that come back in like a you know couple days a week and come back to me i'd love to hear kind of what you've decided and we can talk about the most efficient way of doing that because obviously when you go for any farm you should be doing the side projects associated so like if you're getting sith eternal you obviously need that dark trooper because, you know, that Dark Trooper is what's going to make the Imperial Troopers that you just got pop. Or if you're going for gas, you know, encourage you to get Shock T in the 501st first because then you'll have a great team starting out. So come back to me with your plan and I'd love to hear it and we can talk about it and see what we can figure out for you to help you along that way. Uh, Caleb Cook, yes, but we do have a lot in the way before we get to you. Um, we'll see how many we can get into. Uh, I have to go at the very latest in 40 minutes, and so we will try and get through everything as we can. Ugh, I don't wail. 579 speed. I love the uh, love the speed on Sith Eternal. Or not Sith Eternal, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Uh, Sith Eternal's looking good too. You're 490 to 500, which is about solidly average for Sith Eternal. Love seeing it. Let's take a look at kind of some of your fast characters. Over 330 speed for Mara Jade. Beautiful. Uh, Captain Rex, Piet, Jedi Knight, Revan. All great characters for being up here at the top of your roster. Um, I'm not seeing a whole lot. I would like to see Queel above uh, Dash Rendar. That he is kind of the uh, person on the team that's going to push everyone taking a turn first before the other team. So Quill should be slightly faster than your Dash Rendar, even if it's just by a couple speed. <clears throat> uh, besides that, I would like to see Sabine uh, up a little higher with Krex. Uh, but it's not overly important as long as you have a fast Krex, you're going to do good with that team. Grief Karga should be higher as well. Uh, but overall, like your, your mods are looking good. Let's take a look at your mod fall off. 271. Yeah. So you're doing solid with mods. I like the remod. It looks like things are going good. I love seeing this top two lines. This is a solid set of two lines. Like this is really, really good. Hey, ADP. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, it was depressing because it started off really, really, really good. And then we just had the worst RNG on ships. And so we absolutely failed on ships and we got held up on our last fleet. So it was really, really good. And then really, really depressing. <clears throat> but yeah, solid two lines. I like your modding. Uh, I don't whale. Happy Easter, Jack. You know, I'm, uh, I'm a little depressed from what I heard recently, but, uh, you know, I hope you end up somewhere that you, uh, you can enjoy. So, uh, let me know if you need any help finding anything. Uh, you can use my discord if you need to, but hopefully you found a, a good home. <clears throat> okay. Uh, this is TSP been a while since i got a roster review so i thought i would jump back in i followed up on all the advice you gave and just unlocked ray and got up to relic seven i see that that's awesome dude which you should be working you're almost done it looks like with the zetas that you really need to lock in permanently on the ultimate tier uh looking good on the mods um it looks good yeah i i wouldn't fully trust hot utils hot utils will do some interesting stuff but you know um the yeah the hot utils is just eh. like it, it's good but it can also be bad for my grind i'm relicking my iden for my common earthly awesome great for the uh the raid as well the two droids for cls uh to finish the team plus fennec and armor for sorry my brain just fried there for a second let me take a drink and refresh my brain Ugh, okay. Okay, before my next grind, I'm relicking Aiden. The two droids for the CLS. 3-POC and C-3PO. I don't consider 3-POC a droid in my brain, so that really threw me off. I think that's what made my brain freeze. Um, plus Fennec and armor for the Kenobi and Vader counters. Okay, okay. After those relic, what should I go for next? What big grind should I start? Thus is the question. Um... 
the problem is you kind of have a, a you're at that point where you have a hand in quite a few different projects um, Oh, it was a remod that your guild officer did on Hot Utils. Okay, yeah. It looks fantastic. It looks great. Um, okay. So, queso means cheese in Spanish, in case you're wondering. TIE Fighter Pilot was 302 speed. Holy crap, dude. Yeah, that's just a, it's a little too much speed. Okay. Um, let's take a look. Really, three Grievous. Yeah, so you've got... Mm, you got a hand in every cookie jar. Let's kind of take a look at just your holes. See if there's any. Um, you have your Separatists. You have your new Gunray. Yeah, it looks like you've kind of filled in your holes quite a bit. Uh, here's the dealio. It, it, you bought the light speed bundles, right? <laughs> uh, here's another one, Martin. Say it with me. Tango, queso, and Miss Pantalones. Tango, queso, and Miss Pantalones. It means I have cheese in my pants. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> I know I know how to say that, or at least I used to know how to say that in like six languages. Nowadays, it's only like three. But mm, uh, another one is for you is soy embarazada, which means I am pregnant. Obviously, I know enough Spanish just to say weird phrases to connect with people and make them laugh. And that's basically all I learned in Spanish. Um, okay, so, or insult them if they... Uh, you know, if they don't have a sense of humor. What is this Thrawn at? This guy right here? I mean, it should be Relic 6. Yeah, it's Relic 6. Oh, you guys are talking about countering Geos. Okay. Thank you, JM. I appreciate it. A Astoy. Um... But yeah, so the funny thing is, this is actually the first account that I've been sitting here looking at the account, and I think job is your best bet. Uh, you already kind of have a start into um, the Rebels in general because of your Lightspeed bundle. And you have CLS, you have Chewbacca, you have Han Solo, you have a C-3PO, you have a Mon Mothma even at 7 stars, you have a 3 pocket at 7 stars. I highly suggest you go Jedi Knight Luke into Jabba, and then from, uh, and because, the reason I'm saying Jabba is because you want to get that Fennec counter going. And so you get Fennec. And you're going to have a great counter there. You'll also get Aura Sing. So if you don't see a Lord Vader, you can get a really good Bounty Hunter counter for other things going. Um, so you're going to get a solid team there. You're also going to be working on your Rebels. And you can jump right into JML, which is going to be super easy. And you can kind of go through all of the Rebels. And so honestly, that would be my suggestion for you if I were to give you the next big project. It's probably Jabba to help out your mods as well as just your teams in general. And then going for JML. I think those two would be a really easy hop between for you. So that would be kind of my suggestion for your next major project. Um, I would like to see this fixed at some point soon. I do want to see these guys relicked. Um, this, is, this is a rough thing to see. So relic your 501st ASAP. So finish your ray, get your get your uh, ray done, relic your 501st. Uh, plus, you already have Jedi Knight Revan, so that Jedi Knight Luke will give you a solid team to use as well. Uh, that will take down Zori. That will take down SLKR. So, like, I, I, I'm heavily feeling Jabba for this account. Alternatively, you do have enough started in the direction if you want to start going for the uh, Clone Wars era uh, GLs, like, you know, 
uh, Obi-Wan and Lord Vader, you can start going towards them. You do have enough in that direction that you can start going towards them. Uh, if you're genuinely worried about the raid, but honestly, you kind of have enough Galactic Republic in this account that I don't think you should be worried about the raid, I would 100% go for Chapa. So, that would be my suggestion to UTSP, is just going straight in for Jabba. As for your ships, solid, solid, already finished, love to see it. Uh... You're getting that Iden Versio up. You have that Palp Mobile. Like you're doing solid with this fleet. You just gotta work on that uh, that last piece, which you have everything you need to do all your proving grounds. Looking solid. I love seeing the Relic Razor Crest. You're doing good, dude. Uh, I would like to see this BTLB as soon as possible. So I I would say Relic your 501st. Get your BTLB and then head to Jabba is kind of my suggestion to you. Okay, let's let's head over to Baby Man. What and characters am I anticipating will be used in the raid? Um, it's going to be Galactic Republic and Separatists. And so my assumption is going to be uh, Padme team is going to be viable in, Galact uh, in it. Um, I think Gas will be usable in it. Um, I don't know if the 501st will be. Gal Keller and Beck, I think they'll throw in because they want to monetize their new characters. So honestly, basically anything that's Galactic Republic, I think, has a chance of getting in there. I do think a lot of these crap Jedi are going to make it into the roster. But honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it was just Galactic Republic and Separatists just as a tag, and then Gungans. Um, kind of like how they did the Crate Dragon Raid, where they just chose different ones and then they threw it in. Uh, I definitely think that it's just going to be Galactic Republic, Separatists, Gungans, um, and then nothing else off the top of my head. So basically, if they have a Separatist pa tag, they have a Galactic Republic tag, and then... I think that'll be everything. I don't think they'll add the Jedi tag just because they don't want you to be able to use like Old Republic and that kind of stuff. But I'm trying to think of who else would be. Okay, here we go. Are you guys ready? Separatist. Grievous is a Separatist, so Grievous would be uh, included. So I'm going to say Separatist, Galactic Republic, and Droids and Gungans, I think are the four tags that are going to be available. Uh, that is going to be my my four guesses for who we're going to use for the raid. <clears throat> okay, let's uh, let's jump in. Baby man, are you here? Cheese balls. The reason they picked uh, individual characters for this last set was because of the fact that they were building new kits for them. I think they're going to do like Crate Dragon and they're going to keep it to specific tags. Um, they might choose certain characters that they leave out of tags, but I don't think that they're going to like completely remove um, like entire where it's just going to be individual characters because I feel like that's just way too much for them. Um, to do uh, it just feels like it'd be very exclusionary and it would be a really long list of characters um, and plus we don't have a GL for this raid and so being if people being able to use JMK in the raid would create another reason for people to farm up JMK because JMK is one of the least used uh, characters right now even though he's great like there's a lot of people going for him for PvP but that's about it like he's kind of dropped off as a main farming plan for most people so definitely think it's something that's uh that's possible is them giving us all of Galactic Republic and allowing us to use uh, uh, JMK especially because you look at the Sector 3 if the Sector 3 boss fight is anything like how the raid's supposed to work JMK is all single target damage. So JMK is not actually going to be that good. So. 
Jar Jar is the GL, but he's not. He's a legendary character. And that's that's what I'm saying. Is he's a legendary character. And so even if they added JMK because he's single target damage, JMK is not it's not gonna matter because he can only hit one droid at a time. And so it'll be much less detrimental than other teams that are gonna be in there on the rain. So just a little thought. Um but yeah, baby man, I'm not seeing you here. Obi Juan, are you here currently? I got thirty minutes. Obi Juan, anyone? Bueller, Bueller. Okay, <clears throat> Dope Man, Dope Man, are you still here? Be able to use SLKR in the raid. Especially with how incredible he performs in the Sector 3 boss fight, there is absolutely no way. Uh, JM, remind me which name are you? Are you Obi-Wan? Are you Baby Man? Which one are you? We'll get to you, Caleb. Don't worry. As long as we have time, we will get to you. <clears throat> But yeah, I, I think that it's not out of the question to say Galactic Republic by any means. Baby man, is that you? Because I... A key. I don't even know what a key means. You said a key. I, I have no idea what that means is a problem. I don't know enough Spanish, bro. Oh, it means... Is it here? Bomino is a key. That means... Quick here, doesn't it? Okay, you're a baby man. Got it. That the... Boss fight in the new raid? Uh, I don't know. It, I That was the prevailing theory from, like, Arnold and stuff. I It hasn't been confirmed what's contained in the raid whatsoever. But considering how much work they put into that Sector 3 boss fight... I feel like it's a good indication that it was a test to see what people responded to about the raid. Okay. Did I get the right account? Is this, is this you? Okay. Baby man, need your input on why I should go for in fleets after finishing SLKR. If I could go straight for Ray or Relic Up CLS and trade teams. Okay. Um. Okay, I already have a problem. <laughs> hmm. Okay, JM, you're, you're Obi Wan. Got it. through IDK, but when they announced the new changes to the raids, they said all raids from here on out would be a single tier, I believe. Okay. Uh, let's check your Sith. Okay. Let's check your Rebels. One, two, three, four, five... So you have them done. Um, let me check those rebels one more time. Yeah. Okay. So here's what I would do if I were you. Um, when it comes to finishing SLKR, I would push and do Wampa Relic first and get yourself a Relic 5 Wampa. You already have the Omicron. You need Relic 5 him. The next up, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to relic your CLS. I don't think it's necessary, but I think it gives you some time to save up some Zetas and finish your Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, that kind of thing. So I think both of those are great farms for in between. Uh, but then I, sh I would suggest jumping right into Rey. Uh, if you really want Treya, you can go for her, but it's a lot of investment that uh, you don't have done at all. Your Rebels are already kind of there. I would highly suggest reliking them. They're great in so many different places. 
100% finish them. But I would go right into Ray after that. Um, so Wampa, CLS, Ray. <clears throat> and then you can go ahead and come back to Treya if you still want the team. If you're going to start with a Treya team, but you should start working on Savage, though. That, that's the big thing that you want. Because you get one character for five uh, characters, basically. Because it's one character for a full team. So... Wampa is your next relic. Okay, sweet. So that that would be my suggestion to you. If you want to start working on the Treya team, I would simply just do Wampa, and then I would do Savage, and then I would do Rebels, and then I'd do Ray, and then I'd come back to Treya. Uh, that would be my order of operations if I were you. Uh, as for fleets, um, so you have this fleet. You have the Executor. You already have your um, a relic... Relic Razor Crest, which is awesome to see. Uh, this is a fleet that I definitely suggest working on. Um, getting yourself at least the TIE Defender, if not a Palt Mobile, and heading towards Sith Eternal is not going to be a bad thing, but it's just going to make this fleet that much better and very much something that I, I would suggest doing. So don't, don't sleep on your Empire team. Make sure you're still working on that echelon. It looks like you are, so I'm not going to bug you about it or bother you about it. Um, you don't have a comeuppance going, which is kind of sad. I don't know how many shards you got for comeuppance. But getting this fleet somewhere is going to be nice. But I would say kind of stick to what you currently have. I'm not going to tell you to go out of your way for Galactic Republic. Uh, I'm not going to tell you to go out of way your way for Separatists. Because you already kind of have a basis of some fleets and should keep working on them. You're getting TIE Defender every day, sweet. And then on top of that, upgrading Iden Versio even to gear 9 uh, and getting her some gear 9 troopers with her. Uh, is Or gear 12 troopers, because it just cost raid 1 currency for all of her troopers. Uh, and then just dropping the Zeta on her is going to do some insane stuff on your defense. It's just going to piss people off. Plus, it's another character for the raid. If you get her up to relic level for the raid, she's insanely good in the raid. Especially if you can get your C-3PO relic, which is already on your list. Um, but... Great fleet, great character to put any kind of gear into, even if it's gear 8 with a Zeta, it's going to be great, because it really pisses people off, and it forces them to waste a Wampa if they have one. And if they don't have one, they could just drop, I've had multiple relic characters drop against a gear 9, uh, um, gear 9, I had Mercia with her gear 12 troopers. <clears throat> but yeah. So I would kind of suggest working on what fleets you currently have and continuing to get them up. Okay, so let's check your Bosk. You do need to work on your mods a little bit, so keep working on your mods. Um, like, that's some solid speed on Bosk, and I love seeing Bosk and Grief Cargo this fast. Uh, that is solid. If you want to drop yourself a, you know, four-star gear, uh, gear 11 RSing into this team, you can pull off some really stupid stuff with this combo that you have right here. So definitely something to look at. Um, check and make sure your Mandalorian is slow enough. I'm not going to do the math myself, but I think it's 25% slower speed than Bosk and uh, Grief. Uh, in addition to that would be Zam as well too fast you can't have too fast of a gl uh 571 honestly is a great speed i definitely think you should maintain that uh because you want to be able to be faster than most others yeah like yes in your shard it's like that but trust me you're, you're gonna want that extra speed i would not suggest distributing the mods with your gls you should always have between 140 and 170 additional speed basically um, and so dropping the speed isn't going to be detrimental, but considering it's your first GL, you want to maintain that high speed, so that way you can ensure that it'll kill whatever you need it to kill, and it'll be good on defense. So I don't think distributing the mods on him is important, I think just getting other mods in general is going to be super nice. Uh, I would like to see Piet faster, I do like the fact that your first order officer is faster than your Hux. Solid stuff overall, I'm liking where this account is going, just keep working on your mods, just blink away, I, I know it takes a while. <clears throat> um, but yeah, hopefully that kind of gives you an idea, but that would be my suggestion to you. Also, don't sleep on your uh, Zori, I don't know if you are, but I don't see a Finn Zeta, so it looks like you are. 
Yeah, you have a Zori here. Don't sleep on her. Get yourself a Finn Zeta. Drop the Zeta on Zori as soon as you can. Obviously, put everything into Kylo Ren right now. You need the ultimate. Um, but this is the first Zeta and the only Zeta that you need for the event for Rey. So definitely throw it on. Oh, just popped my ankle. That felt great. Okay. Okay. Uh, JM, let's jump into yours because I don't have a lot of time. Yeah, we all do, BB. Okay, um, what did you say? Unsure. We'll unlock Bane tomorrow. Okay, sick. You have Sith Eternal, and do you have a Bane Cron? You have a Bane Cron. Let's see how good of a Bane Cron you have. Okay, so not the best level 6 mechanic. But you do have the perfect level 3 mechanic. I'm trying to remember what level 6s you can get. Yeah, so the best level 6, in my opinion, is this one. But it's not a bad level 6. This will still do great. Um, it's just... I, I much prefer the uh, additional damage because it kills off the uh, other enemies on the team very, very easily. <clears throat> Awesome, awesome. You're gonna get Bane soon. That is so great. You should gear up Malakos or Queen Amidala. I have the Red Crayon Conquest, this Conquest series. And debating what big farm is next. Either Jedi Knight, Cal, or Leia. <sighs> Let's see where your Ufus are. Yeah, I, I could Death Deep. The problem is Galactic Challenges change like every every time. Uh, okay, so you have Calcastus done. You have some solid shells. Um... Kind of take a look at your stuff. You're really killing me with this question. Yeah, I, I see that, JM. You don't have Seer. You also don't have Saw. You have Drogon done. Where's your Ewoks? You have Nisa at five stars. <clears throat> you know what, F it. I'm trying to sit here and talk from an efficiency standpoint. I'm like trying to think through your question. Uh, and I think that they're pretty even on an efficiency standpoint, but from a stance of what will be the most fun and what will keep you engaged in the game and what will make you laugh, I definitely think you should go Jedi Knight Cal and upgrade your Malakos. I think that's going to be amazing. You can upgrade your Malakos now and you can throw him with Supreme Leader Kylo Ren and get some crazy stuff done using that and basically guarantee you wins with your Supreme Leader Kylo Ren constantly. Uh, and then your Jedi Knight Cal will farm up your Seer and the rest of the team to go with Malakos. And the Seer Malakos team, from what I've heard, is one of the most fun teams to play with. It's on the same level as Starkiller for how much enjoy uh, how much it is enjoyable. And it can take down multiple GLs, so I, I definitely think that should be your PP, and I think it would be a great PP. You already have Malakos, go all in on it, buddy. Uh, really just have some fun with it. I think Leia can wait, and I think Queen, Queen Amidala can wait, especially because Queen, Queen Amidala is most likely going to force you to also get um, the new Qui-Gon and the new Obi-Wan, which is kind of rough to try and get marquee characters immediately. So, I think overall, Malakos and Jedi Knight Cal is going to be perfect for you. By the time you get the shards and get everything done, he will permanently be in the... Uh, in in our legend whatever it's called the journey guide and so i think that's going to be great for you jam
But yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully that helps you kind of make a decision. But I think honestly, as something to enjoy as well as something that will be good for this account, I think it's both. It coincides really, really great. Because I like sitting here, I'm like, would I rather have Leia or would I rather have Jedi Knight Cal? And would I rather have Malakos? And I'm like, well. You know, Leia's just fantastic GL. She has some great requirements. You know, Jedi Knight Cal, you have a Jedi Knight Cal with your, go with your JML to be able to take down Malgus. Like, it's going to be great for this account. Uh, plus, you know, you get your Malakos team. I'm, like, sitting here and, like, trying to think that through. And it's just, Malakos is going to be more fun. Go for it, dude. Yeah, like, it, it fits so well. Both of them fit so well into this account, but... Honestly, Malico sounds like it's going to be the more fun team, so go for it. Okay, we're going to jump into Dope Man. I don't have much time, and I want to see if I can get to Caleb um, since he is in chat. Okay. Dope Man. Finishing up Inquisitors. Are you here, Dope Man? Uh, finishing up with Quizzers, maybe doing profanity next, unsure. Possibly want to do Imperial Remnant next, then Cal or Bo. Interesting choices. Very interesting choices. Do you have, um, DTMG? You do have DTMG. Okay, so that's 100% fair. Surprising you don't have a Dark Trooper leveled up. <clears throat> this account definitely seems like it should have a Dark Trooper. Yeah, exactly, IDK. So, like, you can farm up your Malakos right now while you're waiting on shards and do plenty with Malakos. <clears throat> okay, so... You're thinking about Profundity next, Imperial Remnant, then Cal or Bo. Um, well, let's take a look at your Ufus. Your Uwu Ufus. Okay. There's no Malakos in here. I do love seeing the Bane. Do you have a Bane Cron? Bane Cron. Let's take a look at your Bane Cron. Okay. It's okay. I mean, he can... I would honestly re-roll this if you can. Because this doesn't actually help that much at all, dope man. So if you have the ability to re-roll it, I would re-roll this. <clears throat> okay, um, whoops, did not mean to click on bears. Um, like, you have some solid stuff sitting around. I would honestly would probably fill in some holes. Um, like, I, I'd relic this BAM just to make that better. Because you're getting to a point where you have a lot of the toys. And now you need to kind of upgrade your toys and make sure that they're going to stay viable. And so, relicking your BAM and that kind of thing is going to be super helpful. Uh, I'm guessing you have Executor. Let's check your capital ships, make sure I'm not just blowing smoke. Yeah, you have Executor and Leviathan. I'd highly suggest uh, getting some Relic levels on uh, him. If you have some time and you're dinking around, I suggest Xanadu's Blood and IG-2000, both coming up to at least Relic 7 as well. Um, but as for your next farm... Uh, overall, uh, I think profundity is not a bad thing. Having your third GL ship is going to be huge for this account. I don't think that's going to be a bad thing whatsoever. Um, let's just make sure you're not sleeping on your off meta. I'm seeing some solid off meta here. Uh, it's Nova. Not really. I've got 10 minutes. So you have your Marauder, which is great. You have the BTLB. So you're not sleeping on fleets. You're doing some solid stuff on th fleets. I think Profundity is a great farm. I think you should do Profundity, and then you should definitely do Imperial Remnant. I, I don't think you're off on that, because the fact that you already have the, the Omicron on Dark Trooper Moff Gideon and the Zetas is just too much to just leave it where it is. So I definitely think that's, that's where you should go next. As much as I'd like to suggest going and getting yourself a uh, Savage to get that, 
I don't know if you have Omicrons lying around, but you did put an Omicron on DTMG. So definitely something to look at. Um, Death Deep, you, you make a point. If you're not using them all with Lord Vader, obviously Lord Vader's falling farther and farther out of the meta. Uh, Imperial Super Commando and Gar Saxon is going to be super, super nice. Um, especially because if you do go for bow, you are going to be losing out on your uh, Mandalorians that you have that you can put with them all right now. <clears throat> so, you're only missing two ships. Sick. Yeah, so like you you have what you need for profanity, you you have a lot of the stuff going on. So yeah, I yeah. Um, if I were to give you an order that I personally think you should do, uh, I'm going to say Inquisitors. Uh, you're finishing up Inquisitors right now, so finish up those Inquisitors, do profanity, and then do Imperial Remnant, then Bow, then Cal last. Um, but honestly, if, if I were you, before I did Cal or Bow, I would do Finishing Inquisitors, do Profundity, do Imperial Remnant, and then take some time and do some of these Relic levels. You know, get, get Bam to Relic, um, and get him up to, like, Relic 7. Uh, he's a requirement for Bow anyway, so Relic 7. Get your IG-2000 up to, like, Relic 8 if you can, and just kind of up your Relic levels on some of your pilots, just to make your ships a little bit more menacing, so... I don't right now because I want to do DTM to do so I dropped his so I would be a little more likely to hear them up. Absolutely fair. 100% fair. Yeah. So I'm going to say that would be my suggestion to you and then come back to Bo and Cal. Um, at that point, you'll probably have Bo starting to, you know, get to the point where she's permanent. But regardless, it doesn't really matter. Um, she's coming around every month anyway, so you should be fine. But yeah, just get some relic levels up there. Heck yeah, dope man. That's what I like to hear. So let's see. So that means if I do this, I should be able to go like that and still find guys with tons of speed. Yeah, 100 speed? Heck yeah, dude. That's awesome. Maul, he better be over 300. Oh yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Yeah, amazing modding, dope man. That's awesome, dude. I'm, I'm glad I can help, dope man. But yeah, getting those relic levels up, I think, will increase your fleet's just overall viability. Uh, additionally, this is a relic level that a lot of people do if you're st having trouble staying in the top echelons of your fleets. Relicking this guy up to relic 8, relic 9, that's kind of the definition of Leviathan Mirror Matches is Stith Assassin. So, awesome. <clears throat> Let's. I'm going to do a quick one for Caleb if I can find his ally code in everything. Caleb, are you here? Um, okay, so what did Caleb say? I don't think Caleb said anything. Um, we'll just kind of start going through. Interesting seeing a Relic 7 Captain Rex. So he's going for Leia. Okay. Caleb, what's up? What, what are you looking for in this roster review? Yeah, you're definitely going for Leia. I hope you're going for JML next because you're definitely on the cusp of a JML. Yeah, no problem, dope man. Glad I could help. Good luck. Uh, I would love to see uh, what you can pull off with uh, your DTMG, because I don't know anything about DTMG. <clears throat> My plan is Leia, then CLS, then Profundity to JML. Okay. Um, I honestly would shift... Hold on, let's, let's check your ships in general. You are struggling on ships. So, Profundity actually wouldn't be bad for you. Um, 
if I could suggest a shift of your plans, I honestly think in your account you're closer to executor. So do Leia uh, and then CLS. Um, obviously, you're going to be waiting on Rolo and Cholo shards as well as Mon Mothma shards and a couple other things for Jedi Knight Luke and then into Jedi Master Luke. But uh, you're closer to Executor, dude. Like you have, uh, you know, you have Vader. You have basically almost all the ships. You only have two ships left. Um you have some of the bounty hunters already relics to the relic levels they need to be at or close to. Like, you're you're close. You have IG-88 as 7 star. Dengar's a super easy 7 star. So you're closer to Executor, honestly. You have the Relic 5-Rendar from the packs, but yeah. <clears throat> so that'd be my suggestion to you is just go for executor instead of profanity like profanity is great But you know an executor is a little closer <clears throat> And executor also has uh, our Profanity has some side farms that you kind of have to do as well because you don't want to just leave ad rad as a crap team So you gotta kind of work on ad rad um, plus your uh, Your overall just ships in general need a little bit more oomph yeah, so uh, that would be my suggestion to you. You don't necessarily have to. Yeah, Razor Crest does suck to farm, but like you're you're getting real close. Like you already have five star. You're going to be getting twenty shards a month. Um, plus, you can probably get another forty shards a month if you're very diligent on your fleet arena shards. So make sure that you're always putting in. Um, you know, you're always keeping at least 400 fleet currency sitting around, even if it pushes you back on Zetas a bit. Just make sure you have some fleet currency always to check for Razor Crest. Um, but you can probably get a solid another 20 to 40 per, per month. And so that's like three months and you'll have Executor, basically. And that time can also be spent getting the last of your... Uh, you need TIE Bomber and you need to finish TIE Fighter, which TIE Fighter is easy. But you need to finish your TIE Bomber and you need to finish your IG-2000. And that's your last two things. Um, plus, finishing Executor gets you... Because, like, right now, one of the big things you're missing is uh, Han's Millennium Falcon. And so you can't get Hans Millennium Falcon to seven stars until you f finish your executor farm, basically. And so it's like a catch-22 where I'm just like, you know, you, you, you want to farm profundity, so you're going to have to go get bounty hunters. But getting bounty hunters gets you closer to executor. And so it's just like, you might as well. <laughs> so... Uh, I would probably do that. That'll get you a solid uh, fleet. Plus, that also helps build two fleets because then you have your Empire fleet started and going as well. Uh, and then hit that JML, hit that Jedi Knight Luke. That'll give you the time to get the farm, uh, the shards farmed for those things as well. And then if you want profundity, you'll have two meta fleets instead of just one. So uh, you've been farming IG a lot. Yeah, so 100%. Go, go for Executor. I think that's going to be your best bet. Um, exactly. I mean, he'll he'll get executor. I mean, he'll get Hans Millennium Falcon before he gets executor. But he has to get uh, Hans Millennium Falcon by getting one of the requirements for executor. So it's just yeah. Uh, otherwise, think Leia is a great farm. Um, looks like you know solid stuff. Let's just make sure you're not sleeping on things. I know we've looked at your account a couple times. Um. I don't know why I closed separatists. I meant quick resistance. Uh, you have the Zori. Uh, you have the Finn Zeta. So yeah, you're not sleeping on things. You have the Phoenix up and cooking. Doing solid work, my friend. Uh, that would be my one suggestion for changing things. Um, but yeah. Looking like a good account, dude. Keep going. Uh, I gotta get going. I, gotta be, I got somewhere to be. Um, friend invited me over for dinner. Because he is a kind and loving friend. But I do gotta get going. So. <clears throat> unfortunately it looks like our Jar Jar tip jar will be ending this month at. I mean still funny enough. 269.69. But it's just a bummer that you know. We don't have more coming our way to try and fund into that Jar Jar tip jar. Because it's looking like with the new. Uh, the new Gungan. The next one. The Phalanx. We're probably going to have to just straight up purchase him. If we want to get day one. Uh, the rest we can farm to some degree. But. 
yeah, it's looking like a lot of money. So we'll we'll see if I'm able to do it. Uh, I don't know if we can, but uh, let's get our song going. We have it here somewhere. Thank you, my friends, for joining us. It was a little bit of a rough, uh, you know, a rough GAC, to be honest. Like, we had, you know, some solid stuff going. We had some really good stuff. Bane didn't break the game. It was great. And then we got to ships and just had the worst RNG possible. Uh, but, hey, you know, we do what we can. And hopefully next week we'll do better. We have a Sidious Cron coming. We have a Holdo Cron coming. So we're going to have a great week next week. Having a good solid defense, solid offense. Some just really fun stuff to play with. We're also looking at getting a scythe here in the next month or so, so it's going to be a fun time. Uh, but thank you to all of our, you know, damn contributors, wherever they are, they're over here. All of our damn contributors, you guys are awesome. You guys are what makes this possible. Thanks to our damn sugar daddy ADP. You're always loved and help. You're so helpful in keeping us alive. Our damn elite, as always, thank you so much for being here. And happy Easter to all of you guys that are celebrating and happy random Sunday to those who aren't. You guys have a wonderful day.